My name is Emily Freeman, and three months ago, I met with Adam for the first session for my Zero Pain Now treatment. And I have to say, I was a little apprehensive. I wasn't expecting miracles, but a miracle is basically what I got. And I have been able to run for the first time in three years. For uh, I can do, I can go out and do four miles. I was totally comfortable. I had no pain. And within the first couple of days, I was running two miles. And within the first 30 days, I was completely pain-free and was able to go out in Central Park and run four miles. I think the process was great for me because it um, had some clear, definable exercises and things where I could kind of mark my progress. So I was able to look at a video. I was able to talk to Adam when I needed to talk to him. It involved um, writing and journaling, which I think was really help, healthy for me, and, and also some verbalizing of my emotions. And, it, and even though I'd had traditional talk therapy um, off and on for years, somehow this was different, and it was like jump-starting that entire process and just jumping me to the next level, and the results were instantaneous. I think before I had the session, I, I thought of everything I did in terms of pain. Uh, if I was going on a long drive, I knew that I was going to be in pain. If I was going to the movies, I knew I was going to be in pain after an hour and a half. If I went to dinner, I had to think about what chair I sat in. And now I don't think about any of those things. And uh, the most important thing is that I'm back to doing the one thing that I was truly, truly passionate about, which was running, and I'm able to play golf, which is one of the other things I'm passionate about, without worrying about tweaking my neck or having pain when I'm done or you know, how, what I'm going to do to kind of treat the pain and just get through it so I can continue to do the things that I love. I think I'm much better when things start to feel like they're going south to, I take that moment and ask myself, you know, where I am emotionally, and just grounding myself and acknowledging that emotion made such a difference for me, and it allows me to, it, it's like a forced step back, because when you stop down and you acknowledge it, then you're stopping down on a number of levels, and sometimes you can just, it, it just deflates the situation a little, and you feel like, okay, everything's fine and this doesn't have to get the better of me and I don't have to hold this stress on my body all day long. Look, I'm a very logical, sensible person um, and I don't go on to things easily, but I've spent tens of thousands of dollars on traditional medicine and non-traditional medicine. I've had x-rays that show problems and MRIs that show issues, but the reality is that this works and I I did believe enough and I knew that there had been enough stress in my life to make that connection. And now I don't, you know, I don't question the cure. I, I basically know that I can have structural problems, but structural problems don't necessarily cause pain. And that for me was the key. And I had tried things a little bit similar to this and I'd read some books and I'd kind of been able to see the light. But the key was really working with Adam in such a in a, such a structured fashion, and doing the session with him, where the other books and things I'd heard, I believed and I understood intellectually, but this was the home run emotionally for me, and this got me over the hurdle, and this is why I have no pain. I know it sounds too good to be true, and I'm, I, I come from a place where I'm very cynical about things that sound too good to be true, but. If you can believe this and understand it and accept it for what it is, it works. And the brain is an incredibly powerful tool. And you can't look around in the world and, and understand how the brain works and think for a minute that the brain doesn't have the ability to cause pain and, and divert you from other things in your life. So if the brain has all this and the body have all this amazing capability, why can't we control it enough to the point where it doesn't have to call? cause pain.